Welcome back to the channel and today we are taking a first look at Polybridge 3 which comes out on the 30th which is probably today or yesterday. Now if you search my name followed by the word bridge you will see that me and Bridges actually have a long history on YouTube. However absolutely none of that history involves anything from Polybridge whatsoever. This is in fact my maiden voyage into the world of Polybridge starting with Polybridge 3 which uh, it, it's the most recent, so it makes the most sense. Now, I do have a preview access to this because I'm recording it uh, before the release, so thanks to the dev for reaching out to me and sending me this. So I figure uh, the start button is probably the best place to start, where I'm going to be learning to build my first ever Polybridge bridge. It's going to be interesting to see how this compares to the other handful of games that I've built bridges in, a lot of which have uh, invincible joints, so like there's not really any concern with bridges collapsing. I heard it's a little bit different here though. My goal is to build bridges so vehicles can reach the flag. Okay, vehicle, flag. We seem to be missing the bridge portion. I think I'm understanding what they're getting at here. Can I just put a road from there to there we go. Look at that. Who needs bridges when you've got roads? Select the wood material. Okay, it's not letting me freeform this one. It's, I gotta learn how to build bridges before it's gonna let me build stupid things. All right, apparently we gotta create triangle shapes because triangles are the ideal shape for distributing the load of the bridge. You know what triangles remind me a lot of? Wedges. And uh, wedges also happen to be the ideal shape in scrap mechanic. So uh, I'm, I'm starting to, I'm starting I like this game. Starting off on a good note here. Bridges are wedge gang in Polybridge. Save some time building the second bridge by using copy and paste. Oh, you gotta love when a game has a copy and paste feature. Copy, C. Good. Good. There we go. We can now simulate our bridge. Oh, wow. This does not look like the blueprint at all, but I guess it makes sense. There we go. I'm sure I'll learn what all the other things on the screen means at that point. All right, I'm really good at following instructions, but am I good at building bridges without instructions? Okay, so I got a $13,000 budget uh, to build my first bridge. Here we go. So the first part is already built for me. So the second part, uh, I guess I'm on my own now. So there we go. Can I build like an inverted bridge? What happens if I, what happens if I do this? Can I adjust things after I've, uh, after I've placed them? Ah, I gotta hold shift. There we go. I kind of feel like this should be smaller for some reason. All right, I'm just improvising. I just wanted to try something a little bit different so I could learn a little bit about how the game works here. I'm at 10,000. Okay, well, let's see if this works. There we go. Please work. Please don't make me look dumb. Yay! I saw this number go up. I think that's the stress. But hey, it works. And I think it looks a lot nicer not having the uh, the big bars on the side. I mean, granted, you could just easily drive off the edge and, you know, maybe handrails. I mean, not handrails. What's the car version of handrails? Uh, guide... Uh, guard rails, not guide rails. There it is, guard rails. All right, let's move on. Build a slightly larger bridge. Tip, turn on auto triangulate to help build faster. Ooh, auto triangulate. Start building. Ooh, I see. I see how that works now. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, that makes things so much faster. So, I mean, that's kind of like, that's the easy mode, right? Here, let's speed up a little bit. 69, we got up to 69 stress. That does, it, it does not sound like a nice amount of stress, to be honest. Use additional anchors, red squares, to help support your bridge. Oh, this is an anchor right here. Okay, cool. Well, let's start with the road. Let's do something kind of fancy here. And let's go up from there, but then let's go down. Oh, this is not, this is centered weird. There we go. Down from there. And then we go up from here. Does that make sense? Let's try it. I don't know. I'm experimenting. 78. Woo. I forgot to put the speed back down. That was really fast. 78%. I feel like, our, am I going for a record here? Can, what is the maximum amount of stress I can experience without failing? That's uh, being a YouTuber in a nutshell. Oh, I haven't even been looking. There's uh, leaderboards, apparently. I guess these are all the people with uh, early access. 37 out of 40 people, probably. <laughs> I don't know, 37 seems good. Does it tell me how many people there are total? I'm in the top 30%. That actually, that doesn't sound too bad now. Oh, I'm in the bottom 15% when it comes to lowest stress, which means I got I got a high score. I got a pretty high score on the stress levels. 
top 30% when it comes to budget. Oh, that's just budget. Okay. So when it comes to actually grading the bridge quality, I'm 96. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Now, this is literally my first day in Polybridge, so I don't know all of the fancy game mechanics that are specific to Polybridge or probably real bridge building in general. I'm here to have fun and play around and experiment, okay? Steel is stronger than wood, but weighs more and is more expensive. That, oh, we can only use steel now, apparently. All right, let's, uh, let's steal the show with this bridge. Can we triangulate with steel? Am I supposed to be doing the same thing? Oh, you can go much farther with steel, apparently. Interesting. This triangulation is different. I don't know if, am I supposed it, that does that is that how I'm supposed to do it? That's how I'm gonna do it. I don't like these long straight sections. Whoa, 69 again. Not nice. All right, but hey, I'm still in the top 31% when it comes to uh, <laughs> everything except stress. I'm good on budget. I'm bad on stress. You know, this game is very metaphorical for life. It's like you know, the less the less money you're working with, the more stress you're gonna experience, apparently. Choose the best material to build your bridge. Focus on solving levels before focusing on their budgets. Okay, I was a little bit confused at what they were getting at there. I thought it meant bridge levels, like levels of bridge. I'm like, am I have a, do I need a multi-level bridge right now? I'm not ready for that kind of commitment. All right, bridge, 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 bridge. You know, at some point, I probably shouldn't always just have a perfectly straight road, should I? Can the cars go along like curves and stuff? What is the trace tool? Oh, that, that looks nice. If I click on this, so then do the trace. Whoa. Well, this is fancy. Trace to there. What? This is so cool. So now I have to follow these if I do this method. Okay, let me use uh, steel because apparently the wood does not uh, extend far enough. Oh, this looks terrible. That looks not symmetrical at all. Oh, and I'm already over budget with this too. I don't know. I'm just, I'm playing with the tools, okay? Wait, how do I redo? Is there a redo button? I undid too much redo. Why? Why is why redo? I am going to try to follow this uh, archway, but going under the bridge instead. Trying to make this symmetrical is not working. All right, I'm turning the grid off. Getting risky now. Oh, what happened over here? I missed this. No, no, no. Back to a race, please. All right, the whole right side of this bridge, uh, I just did not make symmetrical to this. So I feel like I'm doing all of this just to experiment with this trace tool, and it's probably just not going to work very well. There we go. That looks pretty much symmetrical, right? Is this enough? I mean, we're only 16,000. That's pretty low on the budget, but are we going to be able to survive this? Probably not, but I want to find out here. 89%? New highs, 90%. I got to 90%. Look at that. Bottom 14% on the, uh, <laughs> on the stress. I'm getting some high scores here. All right. What about budget? Top 41%. Okay. That is not as good as I thought it was going to be. All right. You know, I just, I got a lot of learning to do. Apparently build two bridges to get across the gaps. Okay. Double bridge, $50,000. I have 14 uh, steel beams only. Yeah, see, this is where I definitely start feeling the, uh, the lack of experience coming into play here. Because, oh, we gotta go there. Yeah, what I was gonna say is, I know that there's probably an optimal, uh, area of the bridge to use steel as opposed to wood, but I have no idea what that is. And I know that there's probably like a specific part of the bridge that is just ideal for, uh, for the steel. Like, is it this section right here? Should I have even done it like that? You know what? There should be an option for the road. I don't, it probably, it probably exists, but if I click here and then I click over here. Okay, it kind of did what I was wanting it to do, but I wanted it to just be a straight line. Wait, what if I turn grid off? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Snap to grid off. All right, click there, click here. Wait, what? I can't? Why can't I finish it? Do I have a limited number of road pieces? Do I gotta like, oh. Huh, apparently doing an off-grid also isn't the ideal way to do it. But it did what I wanted it to do, pretty much. I guess it just wasn't good with the, uh, with the lack of grid snapping for that one. All right, so I think I do want it to be lower until it gets there. And now we can go up here. No, I kind of want a little bit more 
level, and now we can start going up. Okay, there we go. If I had to guess with no experience in a game like this, the steel is probably most useful at the anchor points to support the most weight because the steel is supported by the anchor points. Whereas if I use steel elsewhere, the weight of the steel itself would also be kind of pulling down on the bridge stability. So that's gonna be my guess as a complete noob to this game. So how long can the steel go? I don't think I want triangulate on with this steel uh, beam here. So the steel can go to that one. Can the steel reach this? Yes, it can. Can it reach that? No, it can't. If that's the case, then perhaps... Wait, I can't move any of this stuff. Never mind. I was gonna make this road dip down a little bit. Ooh, yes. I think so. Can we use the natural terrain? Here, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete everything I just did. What if we don't have the bridge going here? What if we actually just use this natural terrain to have the vehicle ride across that? Yeah, we just go down like that. That was a nice, uh, a nice little just straight trajectory there. And then, look at that. Oh, that feels way better. Yeah, let's make this work. All right, so I can go to both of these. So I will support, oh, no, 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 not like that. I will support steel there. I will support steel there. And I will do steel supports there. Okay, now let me see if I can just trust the rest of this out in wood. All right, gonna, it, it put some beams where I just don't want them, like that one, this redundant wood one there. So I'm gonna do some manual placements now. And let's just do a quick test to see if this first bridge even has a chance of holding up. All right, I kind of feel like I could have used a lot less material on that. 21,000, so we built half the bridge and we're half under the budget, so we're doing good here. Now this one's a little bit steeper. I don't know how that affects, wait, first break. Oh, okay, it tells you where your road broke. Okay, good to know. Well, I mean, obviously this has the least support over here. Let's start triangulating this side. All right, let's see if this works. Double bridge, using the land here. Looking good. No problem. All right, so far, I keep thinking I'm gonna mess up terribly because this is my first time working with these game mechanics, but everything's going, oh. Okay, well now, build, build a bridge that avoids a plane. You're throwing planes at me now? Try using the trace tool to build a smooth road. This is the plane that's gonna come, th oh, let me just play this. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, the plane never came. Time to trace the thing from there to there. And definitely gonna invert it. So, oh, he's really high. He is one block under, oh yeah, almost two. I think he might, like he might get tipped off by the plane here. Is it possible to uh, have the road follow this? Like if I do this, all right, the road does not follow the trace. Let's just do it. All right, you think the car can traverse this without getting hit? We're gonna find out. I'll reinforce with steel right there. Can I hit that? Ooh, I can. All right, let's do some steel reinforcement there. Steel reinforcement there. I'm liking the build system so far. I'm, it's, I, I'm adapting to it very quickly as far as just click and unselect and select and all that. All right, triangulate on. I used the hotkey that time. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn triangulate off because I'm gonna manually attach this to this. Go up there, and then go down. I think it looks nice, elegant. 12,000 so far. All right, now let me just do the same thing, but over here instead. All right, I think that looks pretty symmetrical. Let's give it a try, see what happens. Oh, 72%. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, you got it. Oh, the vehicles do not go at the same time. Oh, what are you doing? That's driver error. That is driver error. When you are approaching a downhill like that, you do not go full speed. Yeah, look at, look at, look at that. Look at that. He just landed right on the bridge. All right, what's it telling me here? Where was the break point? This was the break point. Oh, there's a fill button. Oh, the fill button will follow the path for you. Okay, I just figured out that you can have it. You don't have to do the manual tracing. I just gotta, 
a race at all. All right, so now I do know that the plane and the cars are not gonna interfere with each other. So that means I can make this a much more subtle uh, curve here because the plane's gonna be coming in between the cars. I thought the cars had to be able to go even with the plane going by. So now I have a new idea, or a new uh, new knowledge on how to use this. So there we go. And then I fill it with road. Look at that. That is the way it's done. Okay. Steel. Steel is not going to fit here, is it? Oh, no way. What about over here? Oh, it's so close. I kind of just want to move that down there like that. Don't worry, it's worth it. I think. What do I know? I've literally never played this game before. 14,000. Feel like we're doing good. Triangulate on. Now, let's see. Okay, good. Oh. Oh, that looks way better for support. Uh, for uh, stress, too. Look at that. We're looking good. All right, cop car. Calm down now. Calm down now. Ugh. Man, that cop car. It's it's like the the farmer, the pickup truck was speeding or something, but you don't got to chase him down like that. He's just, he's just moseying along. Using limited steel, build a bridge that avoids the boat. All right. That looks subtle enough. This looks heavy. How heavy are you? 7.5 PGs. I know what PGs are. Fill that in. Thank you. Ooh, that is so close. That is so close. Let me know. Is this it? Do I have the right idea with uh, using steel, focusing the steel on the anchors when I have a limited amount? It makes logical sense to me, but uh, sometimes it's not always intuitive. But that is what I'm intuiting. All right, this is interesting. All right, I'm gonna have to go a little bit more freeform on this one. Let me add some more steel like that. Actually, I kind of feel like this would be more stable having this right angle here than having it go to the center. I don't know why I feel that, but it just feels natural to me. All right, that looks symmetrical so far. And now we got to build up on the top. We have 20,000. All right, I'm a fan of how this is looking so far. And then I'm going to delete these and replace those with steel as well. And that is my last steel right there. 16,000. Does this, does this look good? Let's see. All right, boat comes through. Hey! This is going to make me feel good about myself. Didn't do too well on the cost. Top 24% for stress? That's got to be a new record for me. Hmm. I'm actually surprised with that. Cars must collect their checkpoints before collecting the red flag. This is a checkpoint then. All right, let me try the good old trace tool. Go ahead and look at what we're going here. So that's all we need pretty much. All right, let's fill this in with road. That looks good. Two steel. Well, that makes the most sense for me for steel. All right, and then I feel like we triangulate. All right, a little bit of wonkiness here with the dimensions, but let's see how this feels. Oh boy, oh, that was a rocky drop in, but we made it, that's a success. All right, top 50%, I guess that's okay. Top 35%, that's pretty good too. Hey, it's Blitz. There's a familiar name. Beat me by one place. Collect both checkpoints. What, are, both checkpoints, A1 and A2, so both cars have to go through here, I assume? Only one way to find out, and that is to try it out. Here we go. Fill in the road. Okay, looks like we don't have a steel limit, uh, but I'm gonna go there, and I think I'm good with that for now. All right, and now let's triangulate some wood up into there, because then I'm gonna do some manual connections to the steel. And connect right there. Let, let's go with that, I guess. All right, that is a little bit weird, but uh, it's it's making a little bit of sense to me. Do some triangulation here, connect that. All right, and then this needs to be connected. Oh, we're getting pretty high on the budget here, actually. Uh, I'm gonna go steal a thousand. All right, I gotta do it. I just feel like it has to be filled in there. Okay, not feeling good about the budget on this one, but maybe it'll be worth it. Look at that, 30% stress. Yeah. Yeah. 36%. All right, pretty bad on the budget. Bottom 35%. Top 9% when it comes to stress. Look at that. Improvement. Okay, so that's the first 10 levels. It doesn't... Wait, is that all of them? Oh, okay. So I just did classic rock introduction. So I completed introduction. Uh... 
theory. These are both introduction. So what do you guys think as a very first timer in the Polybridge uh, world ex cinematic universe? Did I pick up on it pretty well or what am I missing? Am I missing any particular strategies or uh, were my bridges failing in certain areas that I wasn't aware of that I should have been doing differently? Or was I actually doing things right? What did I do right too? <laughs> so if you'd like to see more Polybridge on the channel, let me know what you'd like to see. Do you want to see more campaigns? Should I try some stuff in sandbox mode? Because I do believe uh, there is a sandbox mode as well, which I guess you just get to make your own levels and bridges and whatever you want. Or you can make your own like backdrops and everything. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, you literally build your own levels. This is insane. So yeah, let me know what you're interested in seeing if you, if you want to see some more. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe you'll enjoy some more content that you can find on the channel right here. Some might involve some bridges in other games. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.